I'm Beth, and this is my channel, Kismeta Gaming, and today I'm doing a book review of Stormfront, the first book of The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Now, this book was published in 2000. It was Jim Butcher's first book. It was actually written as part of a writing class project. I think the first two books were written as part of that writing class. And you can kind of tell. <clears throat> a quote from that writing class uh, is, when I finally got tired of arguing with my teacher and decided to write a novel as if I were some kind of formulaic genre writing drone, just to prove to her how awful it would be, I wrote the first book of The Dresden Files. And that's from an interview Jim Butcher gave. You could tell this book is formulaic, and it is it is his first book. Um, the whole series is supposed to be 23 or 24 books, but only 15 of them are out so far, just so everyone knows. A general synopsis of the book. We have Harry Dresden, our private investigator and wizard, who consults with the Special Investigations Unit of the Chicago PD, and he works with Lieutenant Karen Murphy, who is one of our other semi-main characters. In this book, Harry Dresden is simultaneously working on two cases. One is a missing persons case for Monica Sells, and the other is this magical double murder homicide for the Chicago Police Department that he's trying to help them solve, where these people get their hearts ripped out of their chest. It's quite gruesome. So the good things I have to say about this book, it's very well paced, it's action packed, everything's going on, you're never bored in this book. It's really easy to read and it's a quick read. I think I read the book in three or four sittings total, so it's not very long, it doesn't take long to read. Uh, and it's very entertaining. But those are the best things I can say about it. As far as my critiques, I felt like this book didn't explore the world enough and I was left with so many questions about uh, how things worked, why they worked the way they did, the mechanics of magic, the mechanics of magical people. I have no idea about any of it. And I don't even know, like our main character is a wizard and I don't even know what a wizard is. Is a wizard someone who just learns magic by picking up books? Do they have a magical parent? Is it a spell? Are you controlling spirits? I don't know anything. I can't figure out <laughs> how you become wizards in this book. Another thing about this book that annoyed me quite a bit is that it's supposed to be our world with this like secret underbelly of magic and a lot of different shows and movies do this where there's this secret magic world. Which is the case for this book except that everyone we meet knows about magic and believes in it and I don't understand how that's the case. How can it be secret and yet every single person we meet knows about magic? So it's a little bit weird there and I don't really understand why. For a while I was starting to think that this was actually like an alternate universe where magic existed and people knew about it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. This book also had lots of tropes. <laughs> One of my least favorite of all time is when the main character decides he has to do everything alone and can't trust anyone. And so that ends up causing most of the tension and the plot development, which I think is a slightly lazy way of writing a book. Uh, for instance, at one point Harry Dresden has to choose between trusting who he says is one of his best friends, um, the investigator for the Chicago PD, uh, Karen, and he decides that he can't trust her because then he could be putting her in danger if she knows what's going on and someone will come after her and blah blah blah. And so that forces her to treat him like a suspect in this investigation. She says to him, she says, you have to tell me what's going on, I know you're involved, and if you don't, I'm going to have to treat you like a suspect or my superiors are going to come after me. And so he sits there and he's like, no, I don't know anything, I can't help you, trying to protect her. Um, and so then that causes a lot of the problems for the second half of the book, and I didn't really like that aspect of it. Also as a mystery, it's a bit lacking in what's going on. You can figure out a lot of the things that are happening and why they're happening, but they're not it's not a terribly interesting mystery, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And a lot of the the things leading up and the tension in the book and leading up to the climax doesn't make sense to me. It's So there's this White Council that governs all the wizards, right? And Harry Dresden has done something in his past where the White Council is watching him carefully and we don't know what. But if he's implicated in this magical double murder he's trying to help solve, then he could get in trouble. But I don't know why, because he could just explain to them... Uh, I See, I also don't know how wizards work. Because if this white council of wizards that governs how wizards work and make sure they don't do bad things, it's their job to catch this evil wizard that's committing these murders, A, so it's not even Harry Dresden's job, and B, if he goes to them and tells them about it or they find out about it because it's happening in the same city he's in, then that makes him guilty. So he has to solve the mystery before they get there, which doesn't make sense to me. Because he should just be able to stand in front of the White Council and say, hey, this thing's going on, I'm not involved even though it kind of looks like I am, and any wizard with magic should be able to figure that out in like two minutes. So I don't understand why that's a big deadline looming over him. 
And that's what's driving a lot of the plot, especially toward the end of the book. And also, so we have Harry Dresden, who's this experienced and formally trained wizard. We kind of find out those things about him. And I don't know why he can't find this new, inexperienced wizard that's prancing around town killing people. Because, especially using dark magic, because we come to figure out that, or we come to find out that dark magic is forbidden, you can only use white magic and all magic comes out of life and so you can't take life with magic. That's one of the big rules of magic is you can't take life. And that's what this evil wizard's doing. So I, I don't know, a lot of other magic books I've read there's been like this stink of dark magic or you can trace the dark magic and that doesn't exist at all here. And he's like, how do I find this wizard? Like there isn't some kind of spell that says like here are all the magical creatures in the town or like you should be able to figure this out. Like you're supposed to be a good wizard. So I don't know why it takes him that long to find the bad baddie wizard at the end. Oh, one thing I did see about this book is people didn't like, I guess, Harry Dresden's character, especially the way he treated women. Uh, they said he was sexist and treated women as objects, and that was kind of interesting to me because, like, you can tell Harry Dresden is a flawed character, that's the whole point. But I don't understand... I don't understand why people took that so personally. Like, of course there are people out there that are sexist, but he's not supposed to be a perfect character. And I don't understand why everyone expects it to be. And also, if you don't have a perfect character, your character can grow. And that's nice. I want to see that. So that didn't seem like a flaw to me in the book. That just seemed like something that made it kind of, like, rich and gritty. Overall, I did like this book. Not as much as I had hoped. It was I had a high expectations from this book because everyone I had heard about it from told me it was amazing. The whole series is amazing. And then I read it and I was like... Like... No. <laughs> so as a recommendation, I did like this book, like I said, it was entertaining, it was fun, and it was quick, and if that's what you want from your books, this is great. This is what you want to read. Especially if you haven't read a lot of books in this genre and you want to see if you like it, great read. If you're young and you're trying to get into reading, great book. It's fun, it's very fun and entertaining and action-packed, like I said, but I just wanted more out of it. I wanted more out of the mystery, I wanted more about the world and the rules and what's going on with all the characters, and it didn't really give me that, but the good news is, because this is a series, there's a possibility that that will happen in later books. So. I will continue reading this series and hopefully it will get better. And I have heard that the first two books are the worst of this series, so by the third or fourth, hopefully I will have better things to say about this book series in general. I thought I'd end this review with a picture of my cat looking very grumpy about being forced to pose next to this book. Thank you for watching my book review. I'm Beth and this is Kismeta Gaming.